Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Tien et bienvenue à French 1312, chapitre 6, leçon 10. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier quelques verbes en i R au présent. Nous allons étudier un premier groupe de verbes en I R au présent. Hello, my name is Dr. Tin and welcome to French 1312. Chapter 6, Lesson 10. Today we are going to study a group of verb with IR ending them. We are going to study a group of verbs with IR and then and in these group these verbs i hope everybody is doing very well okay allez-y now the first verb we will study is a verb that you know very well the verb to sleep which in French means dormir, dormir, the infinitive. You will realize when you say je dors, I'm sleeping, or I sleep, will have IR at the end. So dormir has IR. At the end of it, we also have other verbs like mentir, partir, sentir, servir, sortir. And you realize those verbs also have I, R, I, R, I, R, I, R, and then them. Okay, now. Nous allons étudier les verbes en IR au présent, au présent, in the present tense. Ok, page 177, 179. Le verbe dormir, dormir, to sleep. We are going to use the verb dormir. As our example. Okay, so if you are able to do the verb dormir in the present tense, you should be able to do these other verbs in the present tense. Mentir, partir, sentir, servir, sortir. Now, dormir will have to stems what we mean by that is that the endings the endings from which we will do the conjugations will be different from how we know how to do regular verb up to this point in our journey of french learning Okay, you see that when you're doing your normal, regular ER verbs, you will drop your ER and then you add your endings regularly, right? When you're doing your RE verbs, you drop your RE and then you add your endings to agree with your subject pronouns. Okay. In connection with these verbs, mentir, partir, sentir, servir, sortir, 
And our example here, dot me, we will have two endings. Okay. You see that the verb has IR ending A. Dot me. For the first stem. The stem is where we drop the ending and then we add our endings. Right, the stem is where after dropping whatever ends the verb is what is called the stem. So with dummy and these other verbs we will have two stems with the singular pronouns je, tu, il, elle, on we will drop three letters there the last three letters so we will drop the m i r for je, tu, il, elle so you realize that we are left with da 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 for je you add your s for tu you add s for il elle on you will add T. Now these consonants are all silent. So you will say, je dors, tu dors, il, elle, on dort. First of all, remember the stem will be D O R because you will drop M I R. Okay, for the singular pronouns here, je, tu, il, elle, on. When you come to the plurals, the plural subject pronouns, we, you, they, you will only drop, you will only drop your IR. So there you'll be left with Dom, Dom, Dom. Okay, for nu, you add O N S. For vu, you add your E Z. And for il, L, you add E N T, which is always silent. So, nous dormons, vous dormez, is he, is always pronounced a, and then il, elle, dorme. Okay, so nous dormons, vous dormez, il, elle, dorme. For nous, vous, and then il, elle, they, your, and we, you will drop your IR at the end of dormi. For je, tu, il, elle, on, the singular pronouns, you will drop your M, I, R. Okay. So, you do the same thing with mentir. For je, tu, il, elle, you will drop Right? Parti, you do the same thing. For senti, you do the same thing. For servi, you do the same thing. For sort, for servi, you do the same thing. For softy, you do the same thing. Remember that when you are dealing with these verbs, dormir, sentir, partir, Menti, parti, senti, servi, sorti, 
dormi, which we use as our example, you will drop for the first step dealing with the singular pronouns, the last three letters. For uh, the plural pronouns, nous, vous, il, elle, you will just drop your I, R, and then you add your endings. M O N M O N S, pardon, E Z, and then E N T, which you know from your conjugation of regular E R R R E verbs. Okay, so remember we have two stamps here. You will drop the last <coughs> consonant before the I R when it comes to je, tu, e, l. When it comes to nous, vous, il, et, the plural ones, you will maintain the last consonant before the I R. So there you will just drop your RR and add your ONS EZ, which is always pronounced A. And then for IL and L, you add ENT, which is always silent in French when you're dealing with verbs. Ça va? Très bien, au revoir et à bientôt.